right, let's quickly cut across to the state of Karnataka. The Karnataka cabinet is likely to take a decision on a quota for Panchamasali Lingayats. The move is significant just ahead of the 2023 assembly polls. Now, the Panchamasali Lingayats, who are a traditional vote bank for the Bharatiya Janata Party, have been demanding a hike in their reservation to nearly 15% from the current 5% quota. They are also planning to protest in front of the Karnataka assembly in Belgavi today in a show of strength. It is important to note that the BJP is dependent on the, this community, or rather the subsect of the Lingayat community, for its electoral prospects, especially in central and Northern Karnataka constituencies. Those are the visuals we are bringing to you uh, from Belgavi. Remember, uh, this is the, the point of friction. It has been the point of much friction and violence between the two states of Karnataka and Maharashtra. But today, it will become a focal point as far as a show of strength of the Panchamasali Lingayat community is concerned that only goes on to symbolically indicate the kind of double pressure that the Bharatiya Janata Party is going to be facing, uh, not just because of the violence that Belgaum has been uh, witnessing, but also now with this subsect of the Lingayat community demanding a further hike in reservation. For more details, let's quickly go across to our reporter. Ritu is joining us live. Uh, Ritu, take us... Uh, through the security situation right now, uh, what is happening over there? We can see uh, the, 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 the there seems to be uh, a sort of rally that's being taken out over there in Belgavi. Take walk us through this rally. Well, exactly. You see the Pade Yatre that has been led by Jayam Rutyunjaya Swami, Panchay, uh, Panchamasali Pita uh, Swamiji, main head, uh, uh, in fact, the seer, has started the whole uh, rally. And there you see it's actually uh, is going on right now in the visual that you can see uh, that all of the Panchamasali Lingayat, the community members walking along the Jayam Rutyunjaya uh, Swami, demanding for a 2A reservation from the government. But meanwhile, while talking about the security arrangements, here mm. you can see there is a heavy police deployment, in fact, to ensure that no untoward incident takes place. Now, remember what ADGP Alok Kumar yesterday also stated that all the elaborate arrangements are all in place to ensure that no untoward incidents will take place. And the whole uh, National Highway 4 of a Pune, in fact, where this Padayatra is going on, mm. will be blocked. Now, that's the whole reason, again, why we're getting to see a heavy uh, traffic conjunction also over here. There you can see a traffic snarl where because the community members are uh, walking along with the Swamiji demanding for a two-way reservation from the uh, government and there in the visual you see the KSRP police as well uh, ensuring that uh, you know the law and order is in place in fact because uh, in a democratic setup everyone have the right to protest but in a peaceful manner and no untoward incident takes place so that's the whole reason why uh, ADGP Alok Kumar also stated clearly that all elaborate arrangements are in place all the police deployment the police in fact from a different districts of Karnataka have been called to uh, Belagavi uh, and to ensure that there's a, a, a police deployment no untoward incidents takes place and and meanwhile, peacefully, the whole Padayatra will also go on. But yes, right. now the whole plan that they have to get out the Suvarna Vidana Sauda, that won't be allowed because right. they will be made to stop at a certain point. Now, what as per the sources that we are learning right now is that they will be made to stop at Raghavendra layout and there they will be allowed to take up their convention and not move a step forward as well. They won't be uh, let to get out the Suvarna Vidana Sauda where the winter session is on of the Karnataka, the short winter session. So that's the kind of an elaborate arrangement as you ask is been made on ground but meanwhile while you see people of the community are in fact joining in the uh, Swamiji now uh, demanding for a two-way reservation because so far they are they come under 3B a uh, reservation where there's a 5% of reservation and they've been asking for uh, the government to increase it to the 15% reservation because they say they are from a backward community and they deserve to be included under 2A but on the other hand there is a technical uh, uh, no, uh, challenges in right. fact that the state government also has it to include them right. under a 2A reservation but yes, we'll have to see how the, state, uh, the CM Baswaraj Boma is going to take a call today on this. Absolutely. And Ritu, before I actually delve deeper into the kind of political pressure that the Bomai government is currently facing now with this
this subsect of the Lingayat community also posing demands for a hike in reservation. It's important to talk about why the Lingayat community chose to go and show this massive show of strength uh, at uh, the Belgavi border, knowing that this is a place which uh, a border place of dispute and where tensions have already been prevailing in the past few weeks. Very true. Even as the Karnataka Maharashtra border issue is on, and it is even, even you know, the matter is not in fact dying down, as you pointed out rightly. But you see, this has been a right time for most of the community members uh, to call for a protest because the winter, se the winter session, as said, is on at Suvarna Vidhan Sauda. So the, they all have found it a right time to raise their voice and be vocal about their issues and demand what they exactly want from the state government. So they believe that if not now, then never this will happen. Because in just few months from now, the Karnataka will be heading into an assembly election. Absolutely. So this becomes a right time for them to demand whether it's about the farmers who are demanding, whether it's about the government employees who are demanding for their uh, uh, know, facilities or Panchumasali Lingayat community as well, demanding for a reservation. Or for that matter, the Marathi speaking uh, uh, community members here in the Belgavi as well, demanding the state government to give them a reservation as well. So this has been a right time for them, in fact, to put forth their demand to the government. And now that the tremendous pressure will be mounted on the government they seems like they have a hope that there will be some output that might come out so that's the whole reason you see uh, there are uh, almost so many issues in fact coming into the light while the winter session is on here in the Belgavi. It's interesting that you mentioned the winter session and the upcoming elections which is what brings me to my next question. How uh, how much the Lingayat community is trying to ride or rather milk to their advantage the fact that elections are around the corner for the state of Karnataka because remember the Lingayat community is uh, you know the uh, uh, a community which is also uh, largely appeased by the BJP in Karnataka and uh, we've seen occasions when even the Congress in Karnataka has tried to reach out uh, to the Lingayat community. Well, this is an interesting question as well. But yes, of course, the Lingayat community plays a very important role because that's the dominant community here. Almost 16 to 17 percent of the population in the Karnataka is, in fact, of a uh, Lingayat community. And Panchamasali happens to be the one of the subsect of uh, uh, the Lingayat community who's been demanding this uh, reservation to the government. But yes, to talk about it more politically as well, we have seen how this community plays a major role for any party who want to come into the power. By this community backing any leader in fact uh, you know changes the fortune of the leader or the government that we can clearly say as well because you see in 1990 when Rajiv Gandhi had come down uh, to Bangalore for uh, uh, no, uh, for a meet in fact here so that's when he on the air, at the airport itself uh, for uh, uh, the continuous riots that were taking place in the Karnataka and the government was in fact uh, uh, being at a bad side for that reason and that's when uh, Rajiv Gandhi in fact declared openly without taking any leaders into the confidence that Virendra Patil who was the con uh, uh, you know, a chief minister then and a congress leader uh, was been made to step down from his post without giving a proper clarity so that really upset the Lingayat community because it was because of the Lingayat community that Virendra Patil had come to the power and that somewhere uh, you know, upset this community seeming like that the community does not play a role of the state government does not know the importance of this community and you see how the community also gave it back uh, right then that the later point uh, it was the BJP government and especially uh, the Yadurapa BS Yadurapa the former chief minister who also happens to be the tallest a uh, leader from the Panchumasali uh, a community was been given an opportunity and since since then till date, BJP has uh, enjoyed this vote share, uh, votes of the Panchumasali because this plays a major role for them and in fact uh, Yadirapa also considering almost 10% of the vote shares majorly comes from the Lingayat community itself. So that's how you see things have panned out earlier as well. Now this becomes the right time for the community as well to put out their word to the government saying that 